Here we go. Hi everybody, my name is Aris Jordan. I'm originally from New York City, but I'm in Oakland, California. And I win, I've been natural for the last two years. No perm, no nothing, just like enjoying my beautiful hair. And I'm gonna read an excerpt from my poem, Hair Drama Trauma, because we go through so much as women of color in our hair. Coiled, nappy, thick beady bees. My hair, bad hair control. I could feel the butterflies in my stomach when it was time for the weekend's press. I could feel the comb pulling and parting of my soul with thin tail combs, breaking teeth, gritting teeth as mama pulled my locks, trembling. Why is beauty so painful? I kicked, I pleaded, please don't comb my hair. I would put bowls on the knots. I had I could tuck it under. Just cut it off, I said. One time I made an ultimatum with my comb. I don't want to be beautiful. I like that. Okay, what, so, what would you tell somebody who is struggling with their own identity and appreciate who they are as a divine spirit in terms of their expressivity? Because a lot of people seem to be stuck or stagnant in in terms of when they're natural. What yeah, would you I say would, to that young person. I would say to the most important thing is to see who you are outside of the weave the press and all of these things give yourself a chance to see how you came into this world the beautiful image of God and even if you don't decide this is going to be something you do with your hair all the time just try it give yourself a chance and get used to your hair there's nothing wrong with your hair you just have to learn how to style it and right. with technology there's no excuse all right thank you thank you very much